Okay, so another thing I want to try out is to see if we can build a piano. And then from the piano, we'll ask ChatGPT to generate us some notes, because given notes are a written text format, we can see if we can string together some music. You make me a piano using JS that reads in notes uh, from a text box. Reads from a text box and plays the corresponding notes. Using the web audio API support notes are So I, I believe with the new updates in GPT-4, you can put more values into it and it produces more values out of it. So, cool, yeah, okay. So, Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this. What one more trying to say to, to GPT-4 is, given we have notes C4, C5, and blah, 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 at a certain frequency, can you create a tune by linking these uh, values together? Okay, cool. So we're just going to copy and paste that into our input field and see how it goes. This is C major arpeggio. Hopefully I don't get copyright infringement on YouTube. We'll see how that goes. Cool. Could you build your own sequence? Cool, so it, it managed to do a pretty good tune, but let's see if we can make something unique for itself. I'll create a unique tune called GPT-4 special using the available notes. Okay. Cool, sounds pretty good. Um, To adjust the playback rate, modify the delay value in piano.js file, the current value is set at 500 milliseconds to 0.5, and then change it to half its value. That is very cool. So let's give that a go. Then. So let's change that to 2.5. That's great. Well done. But I need more speed and more complex. Give me a uh, hundred notes at lightning fast speeds let's copy that we I keep forgetting where I put the thing okay here. paste the end we'll change this let's change that down to 10 milliseconds whoops should have tried that again Let's paste that in. Draw 
B. Try that. <laughs> Good God. Ooh, what scared the hell out of me? What does one sound like? <laughs> right, it's just something like slapping the keyboard. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, do you know? So, okay, there's a famous um, musical piece called Rush E, which is incredibly difficult to do. Um, if you ever heard of Marco, Mark Rober? Yeah, he's like a, he was a former NASA scientist and he made a piano, an automated piano that plays Rushy. That's kind of where I figured it out from. But Rushy is an incredibly complex piece of, um, uh, piece of musical, it's a, it's a really difficult composition, that's the right word. Yeah, composition to play is like, you have to reach like 10 different parts of the keyboard all at the same time. So, do you happen to know Rush? E. Yes, I'm familiar with Rush E and its fast-paced challenge and popular piano composition created by Sheet Music Boss. Uh, song gain popular... Okay, I don't need the details. Okay, cool. Um, I want this JS keyboard to play... Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I can't provide the full music sheet or complete MDI, MIDI file for the piece due to copyright restrictions. I can help you create simple, rushy inspired tune using notes you provided. This tune won't be the exact composition, but it will capture some of the essence of rushy. Okay, it's pretty much doing it. It knew what I was thinking before I even said it. <laughs> so it's going to produce a similar sort of... Um, Notes to Rush E, but not the exact. Play this Rush E and copy paste it into the sequence text box application to make it play at a fast pace due to the delay rate in the piano of JS, for example. You can change it to 75 milliseconds. Okay, so it recommends at 75. So let's change that to 75. Um, That's not right. Try that again. Pretty cool. I wonder. What if we change the piano into a guitar? Would it? Ha what kind of similarities would that be? Guitar. G U I T A R um, AI guitar. Oh, now we're in business. So we can, so instead of actually having to download uh, guitar files. What we can do is something, we use something called Car Plus Strong's algorithm. Uses a simple digital filter, filter that models a pluck of a string behavior by simulating a feedback loop. And that's pretty cool. Bloody hell.
but let's change that to 1000. Let's see if slowing it down. Um, so what happened is the, the strings plucked and then it's making a high pitched uh, screech. So if we lengthen it and increase the interval of each string, then we might be able to curve uh, the, the note and make it longer. So that way it's less of a screech and more of like a woo sort of thing. So let's try that. Maybe that was worse. <laughs> All right, let's change that to one. It gets worse. Good God. Okay. Um. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Um, thanks for sticking around. If you want to see more of this stuff, I mean, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see. Um, but besides that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.